Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? There's a chest, there's a chest. Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. But let me pick up the the item. This is taking too long. The TV but just turned I off. I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane. Follow the smoke. Here comes the smoke. Come to Come me, to me airplane. airplane. Follow, Follow the smoke. The smoke. Huh? Huh? What? Look. <gasps> right on cue. <laughs> it's the tune. Well, I'll be damned. Hold tight, speed things up. How are we gonna fit all of us on that one plane? Over here! Bravo, sir! Yeah. Where to, folks? Cosmo Canyon, please. Good. You talk? The hell kind of magic trick is this? <clears throat> uh, not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? Uh, too many. Be seven trips. Uh, the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. <laughs> and since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to y'all pony up. Uh, no. Fair enough. Just so you know, there's a cancellation fee if y'all decide to back out last minute. Hundred mil per person. Best thing about that. I just want to pick up the item. That's it. Uh, where's the telephone box? Where was it? I saw it a second ago. Somebody's weapon, isn't it? Because yeah. I read the purple ones are weapons. Uh... Resounding Muggle Mine. Uh, what one are we using right now? What, what, what would we be dropping? Mine is fine. Alright, um... I'm gonna try one more time to go in that place over there which has the quest for me and I'm grumpy that it does didn't work. Hang on, I'll walk there just in case. No, I've done. Accidentally. Jump over here. That is not the way I wanted to go. Maybe it requires something? I will fuck you, game. Why 
why have you teleported me there? That's as far away as I was. It does look a little bigger than it used to. It used to be a biplane. I think that's what they're called. If you've got my guild, then we got ourselves a deal. Per person, or...? Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Gotta make sure my baby's balanced just so. Tight now, you hear? Fall out, you're on your own. Because. <laughs> Here we go! Yuffie doesn't like uh, travel, right? <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. Why don't shut him down? <laughs> Since you're so committed. I'm going to give you a special treatment. Scabbing for One that will surely make you into a hero. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> oh, no. I don't like the word region. But I'm ready to fight for some penguins. Oh, oh, oh. What? Thought maybe planes would be okay. But no. Not in here. Open a window. Cool. Hey, see it. Yeah? You're not worried about flying around in the open like this? What if Shinra sees us? Shinra don't own the skies. Shitheads couldn't stop me even if they tried. <laughs> I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. Don't know why I've got control, but I do. Close now. Yep, bringing her down. Chapter. Watch you of the veil. Okay, folks, we're here. <laughs> Run 
Crutch as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to you. There he goes. The veil's this way. Bonco Airlines, inspect the telephone booth at the airstrip to send out the smoke signal and call upon the town of Bonco. After a light in the pilot will happily fly to any airship you visited before. For the right price calls, that right price will be what? 1,000 gil for your inaugural trip. 3,300 gil for your subsequent flights. I'm gonna stop doing that voice. Oh my god, of course, Cosmo Canyon. Why, of course, Cosmo Canyon has fucking quests. Um. Why would it not? <laughs> why would it not? Oh god. It was a among. What time is it? Okay, I'm going to be playing for at least an hour more. It was among the red rocks of this ancient geological formation that the planetology was first conceived while many pilgrims and scholars gathered here to deepen their scientific and spiritual knowledge. The veil also attracts tourists and possesses only a passing familiarity with the core tenants. I you just looked around a bit, you would have been able to get the money on your own. Enjoying this rendition of this song. Where are we going? Following the signs.
Penguins! Just like I thought they would. Ski ski! Kiki! Best do it right. Avian creatures that nest in allied environments, highly combative. They boldly threaten anything that opposes them, flying out of control once angered. Birds. They have the least needy birds. What is that? Oh, is that a frogman? Oh, yeah, of course. I forgot what the book says. Yeah. Got Too bad. Land dwelling creatures that abide in the arid environment. They are intelligent enough to have created their own language and quench their thirst solely on the moisture contained in the plants and bugs they eat. Use ice. Bound. He is a dog. Except to make peace with the fact that he's a dog. Who's a cat? It's sort of a weird in between thing. Isn't it? Look, a chocobo ranch. Big cyan. Shani, that you? Who's Shawnee? One of your chocobos? Did they run away from home? <laughs> My apologies. I don't believe we've met. I'm Kamaria, the owner. <laughs> so, Shawnee's your bird? Goodness, no. Shawnee's my daughter. She's a chocobo jockey. Or was, till she fell off her mount during a race. <sighs> Since then, she's completely lost her nerve. Refuses to get back in the saddle. I see. Oh. Tell me, you kids any good at riding? Yeah, we dabble. Wonderful. In that case, how would you like to use my training course? I had everything built brand new just for Shawnee, but now it's going to waste. Someone ought to put it to good use, don't you think? And who better than you young go-getters? I don't know. Ever run a ring course? It's simple. You strap yourselves in and fly through a series of hoops. I reckon you won't find a course like mine anywhere else. Whoa! That sounds amazing! <laughs> you want to try it, right? Imagine how jealous everyone will be. Sure. But first, you'll need to catch yourself a chocobo. One that isn't afraid of heights. A fine bird like Apony ought to do you, though. Go ahead and ride her over to the training course. Twisting paths and bewildering brushlands. She'll guide you through it all with ease. There's more canyons soaring birds. Look at them. They're birds. I 
spy Chantley. Where is he? There's no Chantley here. Oh, there is a Chantley. How the fuck did you get here? I see you too have come to do a little avian investigation. While most chocobos run on land, the birds around here are capable of taking to the skies. Flying on chocoback must be quite the thrill. The thrill. Okay. Jump. But that's. We're not getting that next game because that's just going to be a core cool part of Sid's identity. Oh, that's cool that it exists there. Poison and petrify. Ooh. Skill master. ETB commands. Synergy. Ooh. That's really good synergy. Like, that saved me during the hard mode. You know what I really want? Some more magnifiers. That's the smell. If there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. So yeah, uh, if if Yuffie isn't bored out of her skull while in the um, the Cosmo room, then it's bad characterization because that's how she was in the original game. It was funny as fuck. since we looked at these machines. Do, okay, do we remember the things that were vitally important to us? These aren't very exciting, unfortunately.
like to make Josh Bates. Boost. Oh, that would be never mind. Ah. Okay. That looks like a changing room, but like they don't ever get used. Feel free to have a look at our wares. I think I want to finish the radio set. Choke goodbye for now. Bound. I want to see Cosmic Canyon because it's going to be the last video of the night. Oh, we can't. <laughs> okay, bye. Thou must. Although the sign actually says up here, so maybe this is just a great way. It's a fucking ski ski. Best do it right. It, no, not the fucking ski ski. Let's finish this. That'll do. Elusive creatures that abide in the arid environments. We change the color to blend in the scenery, evading enemy attacks. They definitely sneak closer. Yeah. Most important. Can't follow that to one. When they're in this as well, they're all, they're all bad risks in front of the seven. The translation was bad. But let it not be known that he had an exquisite spine. I know there was a sky bird, but was that the only bird that made a bird noise? That's not a pony. That's that's a chocobo, not a pony.
knows I'm there. The checkpoint, i.e. the start. I'm looking at me. Stop looking, Chocobo!
Let go. Start from the beginning. Oh, I just miss Mr. Rocks. Makes a lot more sense. Cosmo Canyon. Go away, Yuffie. You've been to Cosmo Canyon. Found a pony and a chocobo. Easy girl, we got you. That's our second dart. Birds of the Vale of Fearless can leap from certain ledges to fly across the region's steep chasms. One chugger back, take flight from gliding ra ranges marked with zooms, and ride the generator's air currents to access hard to reach locations. All right, it's back to the tree. It just hit me. You don't get sick on Chocoback. Amazing, isn't it? It's like my Chocobo and I share one mind, one body, one soul. Uh huh. Or maybe my body just hates Shinra cars, trains, and boats. They ought to find a way to make the ride smoother for their stuff. Put R&D to work. Think they got other priorities. That's true.
I was trying to get there, but I'm down, bird. Can in environmental conditions. Yeah, there's definitely one more place, isn't there? Cosmo Canyon, located the south of the western continent, where countless valleys and caverns are formed in the red clay. In ages past, seismic activity forced the soil to the surface, but it was later eroded by a surging life stream below, giving the region its unique appearance. Throughout the year, the canyon sees very little rainfall. The temperature variation between plateaus and gorges is considerable. As such, it's extremely difficult to grow crops and mere act of survival is a daily struggle. Nevertheless, the canyon is a prime destination for students of planetology. In addition to scholars and devotees, many tourists can be found here seeking to take in the mystical air. More practical terms, the arid conditions and lack of cloud cover. The Barrett provides cloud cover, don't worry. Um, uh, facilitate the observation of celestial bodies making the canyon popular among astronomers. It's not the same as a planetologist, apparently. I'll be right back. Risks alone. Hey, okay. wasn't going to hand in the ranch quest. Guess we'll follow the signs. Yeah. 
Touch fire stone. Chocobo, choco, choco, chocobo. I'm on a chocobo. You're on a chocobo. Both of those statements were true. Sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, I've been too. here before. I'm gonna take a picture, of course. That sign. I guess we'll have the sign. We get the butterfly edge while we're here. Oh, if we want to just leap off, we can. But let's, let's walk in. Cosmo Canyon. dropped these on us this morning wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors hmm. huh. but I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you it's obvious <sighs> welcome to the sanctum of planetology Cosmo Canyon. I I might have 
I just want... <laughs> Potentially I came in slightly too early. But like, we'll get a chance to play with stuff, but like... Yeah, the music! Thanks for keeping watch over the veil. My pleasure! Are you about to head out? Welcome to Cosmo King. Poster? Pictures look nothing like us. Must be that way for a reason. Gotta keep on our toes. We must live in harmony with our great mother. For the planet is an extension of us. Mother! I can't believe this stuff right now. There's nobody here. Who the fuck let you in? We're at the Cosmo Canyon, Cloud. A long-standing dream of mine has finally come true. Planetology rejects our Mako-consuming society, insisting that we have much to learn about this world. And now, we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. <gasps> the Pyre. Very subtle. It must have been the planet's way that you made it to the canyon just in time. May the planet guide the... May the planet guide us all. Some carry a to the wisdom of the planet. Nestle in their bowels. Oh, I'll keep Nestle, they're worse than Chinra. Sildra. So, ah, uh, Sildra's the dragon. From Final Fantasy V. Card game. Is that SSL? Used to be a soldier. Lots of hand signals. That's how Shinra Sign Language came to be a thing. I know the basics. Queen's blood, huh? Just, oh, bloody hell. No, no, what we want to Insect Chimera could be really useful. Um, I'm not going to malacan now, that's too useful. I knew that.
plan. I threw away something I really could have used though. Um, I just steal them both back. What's the decision on your part? Um. gonna have to move some places. Oh fuck, I need the Grand Horn to be upside down. Crazy fool. I I'm overthinking this, aren't I?
we go. I have victorious. Yeah, yeah, I think I might take that. That's really good. That's a good fight, though. Hang on. Are you ex-military too? Well, Captain. Solid idea. Good luck with that. Congratulations. You have attained the rank of Blood Captain. As such, allow me to brief you on another promising player. An advanced Queen's Blood AI named Wise can be found in the Dust Bowl. I suspect yeah, it might prove a worthy opponent. He is. Um, what am I doing? Push the story a little bit forwards. It said that these caves were formed from a motion cross. I I know. <laughs> Two legs, nothing to it. That's not the name of the song. I guess it is now. The song's called It's Hard Standing on Two Legs. It's Tupacon. I believe in your cloud. It's a typical song. But perhaps a bit later. We're running out of time. Seen worse. 
Congrats. You're welcome to shop here. Don't you dare use my weapons for anything unsavory. There are windows in this one. You heard of Phoenix feces? Tonics, liniments, filters. We have everything you need to cure what ails you. Who's Pax? Look at that adorable penguin. After we those cards later. You heard of Phoenix Pieces? Hope to see you again. Double block. I was born and raised here. In this canyon. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but... This is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig. Is that you, my boy? Coming! <gasps> mm -hmm. So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Can't forget that materia. As for me. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. Place here. <laughs> Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? Canyon's also famous for its unparalleled view of the starry night sky. I made sure to bring all my night photography equipment along. Can't sleep until I've got the perfect starlit shot. Just let me know if you find any good photo spots. Ooh. I'm sorry, I, I don't have a lot to say, because we're canyons really fucking cool. I suspect I'm not the only person who came here when. Ah, oh, because we're canyon! If it lets us, I'll try and go back to the questing, but it looks like it snapped red away from us. And we did most of Gone Gaga, so we deserve some actual plot, but it would have been nice to do a few side quests first. That was my own fault. I was eager to see Cosmo Canyon.
time is out. Just time. These are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my magic. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. Yeah. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. He's babby. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. He's a wastrel out here. <laughs> Still don't understand Speaking why they do of that. The members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. I know that voice. I've got a check now. <laughs> Um, there's an anime game called, uh, oh, what's it called? No, I'm just here. To... All I want to do is break your bones. Oh, I hope it's that guy. I've got to check. That's a brilliant way to end. Um, there's a series of games called, um, Zero Escape. 999 is the first one. But, um, the creator made a game afterwards called, uh, Somnium Files. AI, I, Somnium Files. And in the sequel, there's an evil scientist. And the way he talks is, I, I don't understand what the problem is. All I want to do is break all your bones. I'm, I'm just here to break your bones. And he sounds just like him. I'm going to save. I don't want to launch into a massive cutscene. Um, but if Brugenhagen's that guy, I'm going to have to check. <laughs> All I want to do is break all your bones. I'd, I'd make a clip of that, but like, I don't know what the hell I'd use that clip for. I'm just, I'm just here to break your bones. Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. This? We have Professor Gast to thank for a full half of the research materials archived here. That records fluctuations in various energies. It fucking is I that voice. That you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. It's the recordometer. All it wants we to do is make your bone. For a full half of the research materials archived here. Uh, those devices are testing the pull of gravity. <laughs> I never thought you could become even more enchanting. And yet, it's like you're singing to me of the planet's wisdom. Don't you worry. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. Yeah, I've been scanning fucking loads of them. Alright, now I'm gonna have to let you go. 
I like that they let you see this all during the day as well. Um, we will continue looking for it on the next episode. It's sort of a weird cut, but um, I'm, I'm hoping this is four hours worth. Ooh, okay. okay, one more thing. Oh, have my devices piqued your curiosity? It is. They are essential to my studies of the planet. Do <laughs> you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. I don't even need to check his voice. I know it's that guy. <laughs> all I want to do is break all your bones. I just love that line. He's, <laughs> he's, come on. just He just wants to break your bones. It's about like, come on, why, why are you even fighting? Ugh. I'm enjoying myself. Thank you very much for watching. I've been the jump stroke. I've been having a fun and fancy. Seven rebirth adventure, and all it wants to do is break all your bones. I don't understand what's unreasonable. If this is it's just going to be just me. Just me. Uh, it hasn't even ruined me. The voice is fine. It's just, it's just uh, it reminds me of it.